Hello and welcome to another quarantine session of the Pakistan Experience. We have Sharmin Khan here with us. Hi, Sharmin. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I am not bad. Not bad. Uh, I think सबके दिमाग पर इस वक्त कोरोना एंगजाइटी है सो आई एम प्री मच द सेम मुझे समझ नहीं आता कि मेरी लंग्स कोरोना की वजह से नहीं चल रही या पैनिक अटैक्स हो रहे हैं मुझे मेरी एंगजाइटी की वजह से आई डोंट नो विच वन ऑफ द टू हाँ आजकल काफ़ी ज़्यादा पैरानोया भी चल रहा है साथ साथ एंड उसका थोड़ा सा ख्याल रखना बहुत ज़रूरी है बिकॉज आई मीन मार्च चल रहा है एलर्जी सीजन है जुकाम हल्के पुल्के लोगों को लगते रहते हैं और साथ साथ अगर हम सारा दिन बैठेंगे तो पैनिक अटैक्स भी राइस पे हैं तो अपना ख्याल रखना बहुत ज़रूरी है ना सिर्फ कोरोना के हवाले से बट जनरली लाइफ में भी सो वट इज़ वन डू यार इन दिस टाइम्स वन यू माइट बी ट्रैप्ट एट होम हाउ डज वन टेक केयर ऑफ देयर मेंटल हेल्थ um is uh, okay so you know how when we're stuck in the daily rituals and deadlines of life and sab kuch bahut tezi se chal raha hota hai hum hamesha kehte hain agar hamare paas waqt hoga to hum ye karenge waqt hoga to hum ye karenge now is a really good time to sit down and be like okay what did we say we would do if we had the time take up a new skill or a hobby learn a language a work on your intellectual development yeah but we were hoping for that time without this existential dread you know That is true, but uh, we can separate both of them and discuss them one at a time if you want. I don't know. Like half of my mind is occupied all day worrying about Corona. So not just from a personal standpoint, from family, yeah, friends, yeah, societal. So to have the mind space or the head space to do anything else, or the promises one would make to themselves, that our time hota to ye karta is is not as easy. I understand what you're saying. So let's just start with um, stress and well-being. Um, do you know that stress actually impacts our immune systems? And there's exhaustive research that has been done on this. So if we actually feed into the stress of kya hoga, so our immunity, when we can only us cough say, so we're actually more susceptible to getting it. So it's a vicious cycle that we get stuck, stuck in this vicious cycle of our own thought processes. Uh, it's a downward spiral. Now to keep ourselves mentally healthy, and like you said, आसान नहीं है क्योंकि हमें ना सिर्फ अपनी फिक्र है हमें अपने घर वालों की फिक्र है अपने खानदान वालों की फिक्र है अपने दोस्तों की फिक्र है society की फिक्र है economy की फिक्र है दुनिया की फिक्र है तो जब इतनी ज़्यादा फिक्रें सामने आ रही होती हैं तो इट सीम्स अ लिल सेल्फिश टू इंट्रोस्पेक्ट बट एट द एंड ऑफ द डे इट्स आल्सो अबाउट सीइंग व्हाट इज वर्किंग फॉर यू राइट नाउ राइट व्हाट एल्स कैन यू डू यू कॉन्ट गो आउट इट्स नॉट इट्स नॉट अ टेंजिबल एनिमी दैट यू कैन गो आउट इन न्यू कॉर यू नो हैव अ वॉर विद so uh if it is inside and if it's a waiting game to bet ke agar intezari karna hai to us waqt mein apne upar kaam karke aur apni strength badha ke physical and emotional immunity badha ke we're actually doing ourselves a favor and we're inspiring the people that we live with or the friends that hear what we're doing to uh help themselves uh become stronger as well don't you think absolutely lekin it's also I think Corona clarifies this or manifests this a lot clearer. These are things that everybody should have believed in. That your mm-hmm. neighbor, ke saath jo hota hai, wo aapko directly affect karta hai. If you live in a country, you live in a nation with other people, their health, their well-being directly affects you. And Corona just makes that abundantly clear. So, apne aap ke baare mein to aap kuch karte nahi sakte. But things like ke kal tak ye debate chal rahi thi ki bhai Jumma namaz hogi ya nahi. So to go on Twitter. and here's the news like people coming on tv or going online and saying ki nahi bhai uh, juma namaz to hogi and it's so clear sara data yahi dikhata hai ki bhai large congregation hogi to of course corona phailega abhi raivad mein jab jalsa hua usse bhi phaila to ye jab cheeze ho rahi hoti hain then you're like at least i can lend a voice and tell people be a part of the movement ask people to pray at home find religious scripture show them ki yeah, this is the right way because ye phir aapko affect karega people going to the masjid and praying that means this lockdown which maybe would have lasted a month might last 4 months kyunki ab millions of logo ko ho gaya so things like that where sure you might not have any control over governmental policy but you might have some influence talking to friends and then when you hear their opinions aapka bhi 
दीवार में सर मारने का दिल चाहता है सो वट आई वुड लाइक टू से हेयर इज दैट एनी थिंग दैट हैज टू बी डेल्ट विद ऑन अ कम्युनिटी लेवल और ग्लोबल स्केल कैन बी डेल्ट विद इन मैनी डिफरेंट वेज राइट जो एक्शन शायद एक ही हो मगर उसके पीछे जो नीयत है वो गुस्से से आ सकती है वो खौफ से आ सकती है या वो लव से आ सकती है एंड यू टॉक्ट अलॉट अबाउट लव एज वेल एंड इट्स इम्पोर्टेंस इन लाइफ राइट सो आई डोंट नो इफ यू नोटिस और नॉट मगर आजकल के जो न्यूज़ चैनल्स हैं ना जो ओवर द ईयर्स दस दिस टोन ऑफ वॉइस दैट दिस टू यूज दैट वॉज स्कैरी लाइक वो बता रहे हैं कि एक बिल्ली दरख्त में फंसी हुई है एंड द टोन ऑफ वॉइस इज जस्ट सो हार्श that you're like oh shit billy the rakhna phasi hai but now uh, what i've noticed over the last couple of weeks is that the tone has actually become softer and uh, it's such a small thing but it has such a major impact because we're going through something that is very serious and when it is that serious anger is not a solution and what's happening with uh, on twitter or uh, any of these other networks is that people are um, are using anger as a tool because it's the only tool that they've had access to all of these years ke uh, is mulk mein jo ho raha hai galat ho raha hai gareebon ke sath jo ho raha hai galat ho raha hai ameeron ke sath jo ho raha hai galat ho raha hai because nay saying has actually become a part of our global language but sometimes just focusing on the positives just our government is doing a phenomenal job uh, which it actually is uh when we start seeing all of the good things that are happening see how we can impact the world by staying home and not worrying about what other people are doing uh jab hamari nazar introspection ki taraf jayegi now when we actually start focusing on ourselves um we'll be doing a lot of people a favor because when we speak to our friends as well um we'll be preaching through love now if a friend is already pissed off or uh, frustrated at being stuck at home for so many days and wo apna gussa nikal raha hai when he calls you and you say ha yaar you know so then both of you will get so angry that um it's just anger breeds anger and love breeds love so just focusing on positives and working on yourself and uh working on that positive language that's a very major shift that's what i believe um what do you think so abhi when you were talking offline you also said you moved out are you living on your own now so what are you doing to deal with it how does your day look like no no uh i don't live alone i live with my father but it's uh the two of us so it's um uh yeah social isolation because like you know it's not a very big family oh part two of your question was what i do what my day looks like um kaam chal raha hai everything has shifted online magar kaam to chal raha hai na to um I guess I haven't really gotten to that stage. Yeah, I think therapy is still something you can maybe shift online like and. हाँ वो तो. But हाँ most लोगों के लिए थोड़ा मसला है वो बिचारे. अगर मतलब मैं किसी specific लोग की बात नहीं कर रहा but generally अगर कोई stand up comedian हो जो live shows पे घर चलाता हो ना generally बात कर रहा हूँ कोई भी हो सकता है. उन 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 जैसे हजारों करोड़ों लोगों के लिए तो ये बहुत मसला है कि अब बिचारे वो पैसे कैसे कमाएंगे. <laughs> अब उनको कुछ और कर लेना सीख लेना चाहिए <laughs> हाँ आप ठीक कह रहे हैं यू आर एब्सोल्युटली राइट एंड नॉट जस्ट बिचारे स्टैंड अप कमेडियंस उनके लिए काफी मुश्किल हो रहा है बिकॉज कुछ लोग होते हैं जिनको आदत होती है कम अज कम दिन में पंद्रह बीस लोगों से वन ऑन वन कॉन्वर्सेशन करने की या ग्रुप्स में काम करने की एंड वेन देर नॉट गेटिंग दैट एक्सपोजर एवरी डे दैट इज ऑल्सो इम्पैक्टिंग दम अनादर थिंग इज के इस दुनिया में इतने लोग अकेले रहते हैं तो अकेले रहने में भी वो सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग थोड़ी ज्यादा मुश्किल हो जाती है बिकॉज ह्यूमन कनेक्शन ही नहीं बचती ना आई मीन वीडियो के अपने फायदे हैं मगर उनके कुछ लिमिटेशंस भी तो होते हैं सो यू आल्सो वर्क्ड इन लॉट्स इन डिजास्टर रिलीफ एंड पोस्ट अर्थक्वेक पीटीएसडी या कल मैं उजैर से बात कर रहा था एंड ही वाज कंपेयरिंग द कोरोना वायरस एपिडेमिक टू 911 एंड हाउ मच ऑफ एन इंपैक्ट दैट इज हैड ऑन द इकॉनमी और रिसेशन होगा या मेंटालिटी शिफ्ट आएगी हाउ डू यू सी इट Uh, is it comparable to going through a natural disaster is it comparable uh, of going through an earthquake uh, what does it do to the mind uh, going through something like this and hopefully most of us at least will survive this and come out on the other side stronger but how do you see it ke 
वट डू यू नीड ए टू बिल्ड अप दिस पीपल अगेन एंड उससे पहले मे बी कि उन पर एक्चुअली इम्पैक्ट हुआ क्या होगा हैविंग गॉन थ्रू दिस इवन एफ इट्स नॉट डायरेक्टली द फिजिकल एलिमेंट दैट दिव सफर बट जस्ट द फैक्ट दैट we're all alive in these testing times uh yeah you're absolutely right uh the corona pandemic is possibly the largest global uh disaster that the modern age has seen and this is my opinion i'm not quoting anyone on this uh in case um, like someone wants to argue this um but as far as i know it's one of the largest um uh, disasters that i have ever heard of and keeping that in mind it's impacting 7 billion people at the same time ab agar aapke ghar mein god forbid koi bimar hota hai right and uh, someone is sick and might be you know might pass away to ek pure khandan mein already ek uh, stress hota hai and ek exhaustion hoti hai sara din sai raat jaage hue rehte hain kya hoga kya nahi hoga तो अब इमेजिन के ना सिर्फ आपके घर में मगर आपके मुल्क में इतने लोग बीमार हैं कि ना सिर्फ आपको उनकी सेहत की पड़ी है आपको अपनी सेहत की पड़ी है कि ये मुझे भी हो सकता है सो दिस इज फियर एंड दैट फियर इज अ वेरी टेंजिबल थिंग इन द एयर राइट नाउ एंड जस्ट लाइक अ डिज़ास्टर डिज़ास्टर के अंदर बेशक अगर अर्थक्वे के बाद आपका घर नहीं गिरा हो अगर आपके नेबर के छः घर गिर चुके हैं नेबर्स के तो उसके अंदर ये होता है ओके हाउ डू आई हेल्प दैम मगर उसके साथ होता है शुड आई बी हैप्पी कि मेरा घर नहीं गिरा और शुड आई फील गिल्टी कि मेरा घर नहीं गिरा इट्स अ टाइम दैट अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट इमोशन स्टार्ट सर्फेसिंग एंड जस्ट डीलिंग विद योर इमोशंस बीइंग सपोर्टिव टू अदर पीपल गोइंग थ्रू डिफिकल्ट टाइम अब वी कॉन्ट बी फिजिकली सपोर्टिव बट वी कैन बी इमोशनली सपोर्टिव वी कैन बी इंस्ट्रूमेंटली सपोर्टिव बाय हेल्पिंग द पीपल जिन जैसे डेली वेज अर्नर्स के लिए आजकल इतना सब कुछ हो रहा है इट्स इम्पोर्टेंट कम्यूनिटी को हीजन इज वट गेट्स यू थ्रू द अक्यूट फेज एंड अगेन कम्यूनिटी को हीजन का जो कॉन्सेप्ट हैज बिन कम्प्लीटली रीडिफाइंड बिकॉज फिजिकल you can't physically be there for someone right in their uh, proximity to so, uh uska like thoda flip side bhi hai na ek um, yeah interesting ji kya flip side hai uh, sorry i was just interjecting to say ki uska flip side bhi hai ki bahut zyada log hain jo in an honest effort to help out like agar chale ration bant rahe hain ye kar rahe hain But a lot of these people might just be hurting a lot more than they're helping because एक अपना भी तो सेवियर कॉम्प्लेक्स हमारे जाग जाता है कि yes our uh, country is great when it comes to disaster disaster relief giving charity पर अभी एक दो skirmishes हुए हैं police वालों के from people who are going out in their own minds to do good but not realizing कि without proper equipment या without proper safety precautions just by going out and doing this of their own accord they might uh increase the risk of the disease spreading rather than helping out honestly the best people can do right now is just stay at home and jo idare properly ye kar rahe hain uh abhi expo center par ek relief effort shuru ho raha hai unki madad kare unko paise dein and not every single person maybe needs to get out and start distributing ration packets on their own which a lot of it is happening and it comes from a good place but it might just cause more harm you're absolutely right and this is something jo i think 2005 ke earthquake ke baad bhi nazar aaya tha that everyone wanted to just you know go out and help and um uh, how would just by hai magar i'm sure aapne wo ek meme dekhi hogi that has come out ke hamare grandparents were asked to go and fight world war 2 Yeah. and all we're being asked to do is sit at home and don't mess it up mess it up uh so uh, that's absolutely true and and uh, what i say uh, uh, um i've been getting a, co- a lot of calls as well from people who are like uh, are you doing ration bags and uh what i've been telling them is ke the government is doing ration bags and and large organizations like ed chipa alamgir are doing it and these people have the kind of networks that um you know us laymen don't have you know koi aapko bhi 10 ration uh, bag ke paise de de aap ja ke apne mohalle mein baant denge magar the kind of organization and everything these people have jo large scale pe kare wo hum nahi kar sakte we can't justify it in that way so sometimes it's better to just leave things to the specialists the kind of um um surveys that the army uh, conducts or the kind of 
organization that, again, ED or Chip or Alamgir have uh, is unmatchable under the current circumstances. And since it is a pandemic, since it, since it is something that is impacting our entire population, uh, it should be left to people who do this on a daily basis, not just people who do this um, in um, extra curricular circumstances. That's not the right word, but you get what I'm saying. But I understand that those people are doing good from the good of but at this time, maybe the most important thing is that you sit at home. And uh, as perverse as this might sound, you have a little more agency of going to war. That I'm going to go to the border. And here I feel like I can't do anything here. Literally. But you got to embrace that and be like, mm-hmm. uh, people who know better than the, us are out there. And they're a lot more aware. So in this case, if I don't know much about it, maybe I don't need to do much. And that is me doing my part. Uh, in terms of what the future looks like, looks like, we don't know, honestly, what will happen. But whatever happens, we are going through something. And we will need something to get over that. And since you've also worked uh, in advising the government post-APS and... Again, they're coming back to disaster relief. What do you think needs to be done in terms of just either national awareness or campaigns, mental health? Ki, ki once all of this is over and we're on the other side, if you were making a policy or advising the government, what do you think needs to be done to ensure that people who have suffered mentally as well, they have something to ensure they don't go under once the worst of this is over. Okay, uh, so I am I just want to um, reiterate something before we move forward to this uh, what should people do question. So uh, again, now imagine World War II ke andar, jab uh, aapke khandan mein se koi ek bashinda ja kar front lines pe jung lar raha tha, because you said that jung thing and I wanted to finish that. So um, jodho ghar pe bethe hote te, unko ek helplessness hote te ke hum kya kar sakte hain right? Which is the helplessness that we're feeling right now as well. So if we imagine that all of the doctors, the policemen, the firefighters, and everyone who is out on the street are the soldiers who are battling for our lives, uh, it becomes, how can we support them? Because what was the time? You know, people used to They used to cheer them on. They used to celebrate the fact that these soldiers... Now, uh, World War II soldiers ko kitni izzat di jati hai? Hamare apne jo subcontinent se bhi soldiers gaye the. It was a very big ek tamga tha, right? To un doctors ko ya un frontline workers ko wo tamga dena, unki bravery celebrate karna and unko support karna. But nisbat ye ke aajkal jo again ke hukumat ye galat kariye. You know, nukta chini jo hai is actually going to break down our network instead of build it up. So that's one thing. Now, coming to how you said moving forward, like what the government can do, there is a lot of work happening. And uh, I'm not sure how much um, like I can talk about because it's not exactly my project. I know a few organizations are working on this. Uh, there's a lot of work happening on mental health awareness and what to do in the short and long run, um, how to be more aware of mental health issues and uh, how to get through the next few weeks or months um, in a more mentally healthy way, community uh, cohesive way, and a supportive manner that works for most of us. Uske uh, lava, there's work happening on uh, training, uh, you know, people and using larger networks to actually help people who. Um, may have been impacted by um, someone falling ill or uh, the um, mental health impact of um, coronavirus sitting at home and all of that. So there is work happening and it is happening at hopefully a national level. Shayad ek hafte mein, do hafte mein, it'll be, uh, people will know more about it. That's great, yeah. Um, so even right now, if people have their communities, hai, yeah, ghar pe hai. What conversations do you mm-hmm. think they should be having? Uh, maybe 
a lot of families who are living together might not be able to communicate with each other aur wo apne apne khud existential dread aur anxiety mein honge um i what what do you think what conversations they should be having at their homes so to ensure ke even parents who are stressed about the future of their children ya even bhai behan jo bhi uh how does one talk about this at home agar ghar pe communication achhi nahi hai guess what this is a great time to start kyunki what else is there to do kitna netflix dekh lenge right to so, uh is can there be uh when you say what conversation should they be having um uh, it's not always necessary that uh you start off uh with heavy conversation about the existence of life or the stock market crashing even if it's something light like sitting down with your family to play ludo ya phir bachpan ki kahaniyan ya uh, you know like dadiyon ki kahaniyan partition ki kahaniyan uh, our, our our culture is so rich with the art of storytelling and it is such a major um uh i mean history has for centuries actually been um passed down through stories and that like it's just like a good way to allow our imagination to be somewhere else for a short period of time get to know ourselves better get to know our families better and um it could be a starting point for a lot of different conversations what i'm saying is don't try to dive off the deep end into hum mar jayenge ya hum nahi marenge ya qiyamat hai ya ya juj majood imam mehdi ka none of that is important necessarily if you haven't spoken to someone in your family in a decade so start small start fun main to direct isi tarah main to soch raha tha apni sari excess ko direct yahi message karu ki ye corona virus ya juj majood hai hum sab mar jayenge dekh lena wo log bhi deewar chaatte the china mein bhi ek deewar hai dekha dekha bilkul sara evidence isi taraf point karta hai ki israel ki ek saazish thi main to bhej di sabko forward kar diya maine and uske alawa then uh, you know yahudi saazish then i'm but pata hai bahut serious issue hai a lot of people on twitter are like but a lot of people on twitter are like oh my god was so bored in quarantine that i messaged my ex to to ye bhi logo bata de ki yaar aap jitne bhi bore ho rahe hain ye galti na kare please Netflix पे वो मूवी वापस चौथी दफा देख लें गो बैक टू टॉक्सिक पीपल बिकॉज दो ओनली पीपल यू नो सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट बोर्डम व्हाट डू यू थिंक बोर्डम इज अ मेंटल स्टेट एंड व्हाट इज दैट मेंटल स्टेट ये हम वापस थेरेपी मोड में नहीं जा रहे हैं हम पॉडकास्ट कर रहे हैं मेरे 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 इशूज की बात नहीं होगी यहाँ पर यहाँ पर हम आवाम के इशूज की बात करें <laughs> uh, I think it's just you know, it's it's, it's a feeling happy. right you you feel bored it's it's not necessarily an absolute thing that you achieve ke uh digestion now uh, that's an automated system that just happens whereas boredom is more like a feeling you could be in the middle of a Guns N' Roses reunion concert where everybody's having a time of their lives and you might feel bored and the uh, issue with modern life is ke hamare paas options itne zyada hain ke having the world at your fingertips may still make you feel bored you might see the most entertaining thing but aapko phone more hoga dusri cheez ke bare mein so maybe now is a good time so to work on having... all of this as well and... yeah so so basically what you say boredom is like just not having the kind of intellectual stimulation or um emotional physical stimulation that you want or are used to i'm just trying to see that between your definition and mine if we can get to a more uh a uh, global definition so we can talk about boredom for more people sure go ahead batayen aap kya hai boredom acha ah ye ke agar aapko intellectual stimulation intellectual stimulation nahi mil rahi jaise ki aapne kaha ke hamari duniya itni tezi se aage badh rahi hai and we have like at our fingertips we have uh, access to so many different kinds of entertainment we can be in the middle of like 100 people at a guns and roses concert and if it's not the kind of stimulation that we want it can be boring so um boredom is a state of mind you're absolutely right but um it's not necessarily a bad thing we have spent so long being overly stimulated that is just the confusion of okay what is this under stimulation but uh we also keep talking about wanting mental peace 
you know, how mental overstimulation doesn't allow us to sleep at night. There are a lot of people with sleeping problems. How it may lead to anxiety, how many other things may happen. So what about rephrasing boredom as uh, the opportunity to choose what you want to use that energy and time in? You can even take this logic and apply it to a lot more broader sense. Okay, so you are personal mental overstimulation, I think even in a general sense, uh, especially the youth of today, they're pushed to think because the world is at their fingertips, they have to change it. So a lot of these kids who are now in their senior year yeah. Yeah, just or have just graduated, they're going insane because they're like, Ab hum mein graduate honge, we're going to enter the worst job market, a worldwide recession. Hoga. Hamara kya hoga? And they also can use the same logic and apply it to their lives and be like, hai, we might not in our first year come up with a vaccine and cure the world. We might not uh, get a million dollar job right away. But in this overstimulated world, we might, we'll survive. We'll, we'll do our little things. And hopefully the world on the other side looks a lot better than this world that we live in. And yeah, even if they're surviving, even if they're not getting everything they might have hoped for or planned for, knowing that they'll be fine. It's it's important to know that. And uh, yes, and uh, I think a lot of the fear comes from the last 30, 35 years have been um, globally, for the most part, an upward trend. You know, how um, everything is getting better. There's so much more success happening and there's so much more uh, access to success stories. Uh, those four people who are bankrupt, uh, highlight shame bhi extra highlight so people are so afraid of failure even though failure is just a part of life it's not exactly i mean it's a learning experience uh so i think a lot of the fears that come for example seniors who may not get into their dream universities um is from shit you know like i won't get into my dream university which means that i will have a compromised degree which means i'll go into compromised job market and have to settle for a job less than what i'm capable of but instead why not just take this year to once this pandemic pandemic is over to i mean we don't even know what's going to happen when it's over, but maybe like volunteer for the community uh, it's a cv builder uh, it teaches us a lot of skills like empathy and compassion and um, everything doesn't need to be measured by time because the world itself very naturally over the next couple of months is learning how to slow down which can be good as well and I think balance because failure is as much a part of life as success is resting as as much a part of life as running is um, balance is very important. Stand up, if you're not feeling, you'll never win. Because let's, I mean, if you're not feeling, you're not challenging yourself, right? Again, I'm not going to become a better tennis player by just playing with my younger brother. But again, I'm not going to become a better tennis player by just That's how I'll get better. So, with stand up, even till you don't try a joke. And bomb, you'll never do a good show. And that has really taught me that failure ko to embrace karna chahiye. Failure se to bilkul nahi darna chahiye. So people who are not failing, they're probably doing something wrong or have not failed. Yes, people might have failed early on and become better. Uh, this is also said that you know, uh, tough times make tough men and then tough men make weak men and then it's weak men make weak times. From- so you said if they haven't failed, they're doing something wrong. Uh, like let's uh, like wrong comes into, I mean, there are a lot of people sitting at home right now listening to this going, shit, I've been living my whole life wrong. So it might actually like, you know, make, you know, cause other issues. So let's just say that uh, maybe they just played it safe their whole life. And then you can do the whole tough times, make tough people thing. And Isn't playing safe it. wrong? Uh, not necessarily. I mean... I think we can live um, just respecting people for making their life choices. There are a lot of people whose uh, ambitions huh, are safe. I'm... 
I mean, if if your life choice is that, okay, I'm just not a tennis player. I have a good time playing with my younger brother. That's fine. If if that's the life you want to live, uh, if you're happy where you are, if you're happy not making more money or being the best, but you have a good life and you're content with that, that's absolutely fine. In fact, it's enviable. But for people who do want to challenge and get better, yeah. uh, so if there's a stand-up comedian who, ten years ago, a joke did that and knows it works and it's still doing it, which is ironic. I'm saying it because I'm after command to safeguard it. But uh, you're <laughs> you're not growing and becoming better as a comedian or as a performer and if you're fine with not being that that is completely all right but if you want to you should get used to failure and be happy with failure and not let failure bring you down yeah that's good and also it's about i think another thing that uh, the world is learning these days is uh ek to balance and dusra control again people who play it safe they also fail safely because unke backup plans hote hain backup ke backup plans hote hain worst case scenarios hote hain so uh, uh even that failure is cushion which is a good thing you know it, like a lot of people need that there would be a lot of people listening to this arguing ki hamare chhe bachche hain unka bhi khayal rakhna hai so we can't take risks but um i think a global pandemic is also allowing people to see that life happens and everything cannot be controlled or uh, predicted um which i think is a great learning i'm not saying everyone should be like abhi main soch raha tha to... yeah nahi nahi bole nahi sorry money off to who to charity and go you know hitchhiking across the world uh that's not what i mean by safety what i mean is that you know balance it's okay to like you know do something spontaneous sometimes abhi main ek aur bhi cheez soch raha tha uh abhi mujhe yaad aa raha tha something that we worked on therapy delayed gratification by that i don't mean what most people who watch my dirty shows will think i mean uh us mamle mein kafi acha hu जो शायद आपको पता हो कोज यू ऑल्सो सी अदर पीपल बहुत ज्यादा ये प्राइवेट इंफॉर्मेशन लीक हो रही है यहाँ पर नहीं डिलेड ग्रेटिफिकेशन जो है डिलेड ग्रेटिफिकेशन जो है वो भी एक चीज बहुत जरूरी है जो ये क्वारंटीन लाइफ मुझे अब सिखा रही है कि यार अगर मुझे पिज्जा खाना है रात के तीन बजे नहीं खा सकता ना नहीं आएगा पिज्जा सो इट्स फाइन एंड आई कैन थिंक अबाउट इट के वंस इन शाला दिस इज ओवर सून then i'll savor that a lot more uh, like you said ke hum ek itne convenient aasan acche time mein rehte hain ke subah ke 6 baje bhi chahiye to aapko ek garam slice pizza ki ghar aa jayegi you we we don't value these things because they just come so easy to us and now that yeah and it I, could be something as simple as sitting with a friend over chai and i highly highly recommend that you know since we are sitting at home and people are feeling bored because they are, basically people don't know what to do with their time right to better and all of these little things that you are grateful for in your life make a list of that make a list of things that uh, you know all of those plans like kuch log hai na ke i've been trying for 3 uh, years i will not write it down no i will not teen saal se nahi likha to main ab kyun likhunga don't write it down because for you shahzad you have you have uh, the advantage that if you don't want to list it you can speak about it in a podcast and it's been immortalized to your memory anyway right ab ya bed ke edit kar rahe ho mujhe keh raha hu maine abhi pizza at 6 se hai main mazak keh raha hu but beech mein maine na ek pura wo system banaya hua tha i was like i'm going to be glad now and then every day in the morning i'd be like you know one thing i'm grateful for one thing i love and one like ambition i have and one demand i have from myself pura glad ek system and it really worked uh, my word for this year was actually gratitude i think one thing that i've really worked on and learned in the past year is gratitude it could be something as simple as just being alive and being happy and being grateful ke main zindo to experience these things and it has really given me a lot more positive perspective on life and uh, uh, i don't know if we spoke about this in therapy but uh, deena was a very close friend of mine uske ghar bhi main baitha hua tha and one day i was like you know i'm just 
so happy that I was alive to be here to meet you. And it's not not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. You're just meeting your best friend. But now, like, Corona is making me yeah. realize I would give anything to, you know, just be with best friends right now and just sitting at their home, watching TV, doing nothing. So the fact that I had started doing that even before gave me a lot more positive outlook, made me a lot happier. And it helped. uh in fact it really helped not being suicidal as well because you're like you know you'll get more moments like this because you're just happy to be alive for so if you articulate that or send it out into the universe wo phir aap internalize bhi karna shuru ho jate ho so sirf lsd nahi ye sari kaam karke bhi maine apni suicidal thoughts ko dafa kiya acha to jo ye aapki gratitude list hai aap ek dafa phir repeat kar sakte hain ki uske kya kya aata hai taaki if someone else wants to try it like you know i think that's an amazing list that you've been working on it's just a glad system ye copyright koi agar is pe ek din kitab likh de eat pray glad to mujhe uske royalty checks aane chahiye uh something that you're grateful for ki yaar you know kuch bhi ho sakta hai it could be like khana garam mil gaya chai mil gayi even personally always i've really liked little things in life गर्म पानी आ रहा है किसी सी वेक अप एंड अ नाइस मैसेज समबडी सेंट यू दिस लिटिल थिंग एंड देन समथिंग दैट यू लव दैट कुड बी समथिंग दैट यू हैव और डोंट हैव जस्ट समथिंग जस्ट सो दैट यू फील इट एवरी सिंगल डे यू फील सम लव इट कुड बी फॉर योर सेल्फ इट कुड बी फॉर समथिंग एल्स इट कुड बी फॉर अ सॉन्ग इट कुड बी फॉर अ पर्सन इट कुड बी फॉर फूड or something that you love ke oh you know today i have to do this i love the fact that today i have to do this and then which ambition ke are oh you know aaj main char squat kar lunga it could be small a uh, lot of times hum sochte hain ki ambition to phir bas maine duniya fatah karne ke liye karne and one demand because it can't just be all good things you have to demand something of yourself as well uh something maybe it's something that you पेंडिंग ऑफ के यार ये काम मैंने बहुत टाइम से नहीं किया डिमांड माई सेल्फ कि आज मैं ये कर लूँगा या अगर आज भी नहीं करूँगा तो कल कर लूँगा लॉर्ड टाइम्स आई डेंट एंड अप डूइंग अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट डे बट द फैक्ट दैट आई आर्टिकुलेटेड इट एंड सेंट इट इन टू द यूनिवर्स एवरी सिंगल डे वो हो जाती थी चीज़ें एंड इट वॉज अ सिस्टम दैट वॉज वर्किंग फॉर मी आई डोंट नो वाई स्टॉप डूइंग इट इट वर्क टू वेल आई के आई वॉज लाइफ अपना बहुत अच्छी हेड स्पेस में अब मुझे वापस नहीं करना अब जब ये करोना हुआ है तो मेरी हेड स्पेस वापस fuck okay <laughs> so maybe i should go back to my own system and another problem is that when we're doing well and when we're in a good head space so we stop uh doing stuff that gets us there and um you know like sustainability on each but but uh yeah this list is amazing shazad and i think that it can help a lot of people maybe you should copyright it as shazad's glad uh but uske alawa i would also recommend glad it uh, <laughs> sure <laughs> uh i would also recommend people making a list of stuff that they have been putting off for a while and um aapke waqt hai na daydreaming is amazing daydreaming is actually a great way to um escape for a little while from where you are so just sitting and saying acha maine uh, italy jana hai acha abhi to jane ka to scene hi nahi hai na wahan log mar rahe hain yahan log mar rahe hain magar uh, maybe 6 months from now i can plan a trip to italy or a year from now Uh, or whatever it is just um you know make your list even if it's ke acha highway pe jaake kadai khani hai jo bhi karna hai na just put it on that list why not yeah that's a really good idea ke things i will do uh, kisi ne one of these food groups mein bhi likha hua tha all the restaurants i will eat at once all of this is over i think it will also give you hope ke एक अच्छे दिन आएंगे और मैं बाहर जाकर फेमस हो उसका पिज्जा फिर से खाऊंगा बट यस सेविंग द फैक्ट दैट यू डूइंग ऑल ऑफ दिस या मतलब राइट नाउ इफ देर लाइक पांच हजार रुपए की हम एक स्लाइस देंगे हम लाइक ले लें आप आप ले लेंगे एंड इट्स सो स्ट्रेंज कि हम सबसे ज्यादा कुछ लोग दुनिया में <laughs> पैसे को वैल्यू करते हैं एंड वेन दीज थिंग्स हैपन यूर लाइक ये तो सबसे कम वैल्यूबल चीज है एंड नॉट टू डिमिनिश पीपल्स एक्सपीरियंस इज हो स्ट्रगलिंग आई मीन इट इन मोर जनरल सेंस कि हमने जो कैपिटलिस्टिक कम्युनिटी और सोसाइटी बनाई हुई है जहाँ पैसे की एक अहमियत है दीज थिंग्स मेक अस रियलाइज जिस तरह अभी एल में 
या न्यूयॉर्क में होमलेसनेस खत्म हो गई है तो जो जो लोग होमलेस थे उन उन गवर्नमेंट ने पैसे डाल के उनको घरों में डाल दिया एंड यूर लाइक वेट दे कुड हैव जस्ट डन दिस बिफोर दे हैड द एबिलिटी टू नॉट मेक पीपल सफर दे हैड द फंड जस्ट बिकॉज नाउ दे वर अ थ्रेड टू रिच पीपल इट हैपन ओवर नाइट बट फॉर ईयर्स नो बडी रियली केयर्ड अबाउट दिस सो रियलाइजिंग कि हम आईलैंड नहीं है हम कम्युनिटीज में रहते हैं वी शुड ऑल टेक केयर ऑफ ईच अदर होपफुली हैविंग ऑन थ्रू दिस वील come out as a race mm-hmm. better than we went in as a human race yeah there's so much compassion as in abhi logon ko pata hai ki pata nahi unki agli tanhaiya pe checks kahan se aayenge magar uske bawajood you know dil khol ke like they're thinking ke nahi how can i be happy in my homes in this lockdown if someone is sleeping on the streets and it is amazing to see how much work is being done as well Glo- <coughs> globally not just for us and um maybe it's time to redefine humanity and redefine our values as not monetary based but compassion and love based like you said redefining humanity it's it's beautiful i i, I think that uh, at least on a mental health level the kind of realizations humanity is going through is really going to make a change not trying to discount like the bad stuff we're going through right now but it is exciting to see what happens next anthropologically this is i think as a species we are at a crossroads or yahan hum faisla le sakte hain ki yaar dono mein se kis taraf jana hai either we can enter this dystopian future where everybody hoards and bird box wala scene hai ki dusra insaan nazar bhi aa jaye to aap maar de usko to behtar hai or we can build a world where we're like we only win when we win together when we're all together in this and realizing that a lot more than we have unfortunately done so in the past स्पेशली इन अ कंट्री लाइक पाकिस्तान जहाँ अगर एक तबका खुश है और स्टेटस को है तो वो दूसरा तबका भूखा मरे जो भी हो उसको फ़र्क नहीं पड़ता सो यस होपफुली विल बिल्ड काइंडर बेटर कम्यूनिटीज इन द फ्यूचर एंड एज टफ एज दिस हैज़ बिन फॉर एवरीबडी इट होपफुली इट सर्व एज अ वेकअप कॉल एंड एज अ स्पीसीज एज अ रेस we come out better on the other side i already see on a global level <coughs> how people are going more towards that utopian future than dystopian i mean like you said the homeless people example magos ke lava bhi dekho ke uh kya bolta hai united nations ne global ceasefire declare kiya when in history i mean the un was created for this exact purpose but when in history has it ever declared a global ceasefire and i think that is history right there you know that is something that for the next 1000 years kids will be learning i mean gatte laga rahe honge 2020 kal i think aleppo mein bombing hui hai i think kal aleppo mein bombing hui hai uh iran pe sanctions ab tak nahi hataye gaye hain uh israel and palestine they are apparently not letting aid go through फेलस्टाइन तो नहीं अभी भी भूल रहे लोग पुराने मसले या अगर आपने वर्ल्ड वॉर टू की भी पहले एग्जाम्पल दी थी दिस कुड भी पोटेंशली वर्स दैन वर्ल्ड वॉर टू एंड वर्ल्ड वॉर टू मेड यूरोप रियलाइज वर बींग एडियट्स एंड सालों सालों साल की लड़ाई उन्होंने रोक कर लिटरी यूरोपियन यूनियन बना दिया टिल दिस ब्रेक्सिट नॉन सेंस हैपन दे वर ऑल इन इट टूगेदर एंड रियलाइजिंग कि ये नोशन कितने कितने स्टूपेड हैं तो होप यही है कि यार दूसरे एंड पे पूरी दुनिया इस तरफ बाहर आए या एंड आई थिंक इट्स आल्सो सो यूनिक दैट इट जस्ट साउंड्स गुड टू से यू नो वेर ऑल ह्यूमन बीइंग्स एंड देयर इज अ यूनिवर्सलिटी ऑफ द ह्यूमन एक्सपीरियंस या अगर मीम्स आती हैं कि आपको नॉ स्केलेटन्स नजर आएंगे और उस पर लिखा होगा एशियन यूरोपियन गे स्ट्रेट मुस्लिम नॉन मुस्लिम बट ऑल आर स्केलेटन्स लुक लाइक ऑल आर anatomy is the same but we don't really ever experience everything mm-hmm. the same uh, jo hamare differences hain whether we're a man or a woman or what our gender is or our sexuality is rich poor everybody experiences life differently and it still is a factor ki aap quarantine ek 80 acres ke ghar pe hain ya ek chote se apartment pe hain but you might be rich you might be poor mm-hmm. you're not safe and there is an existential dread so this 
is probably the only thing the world is experiencing at the same time whether you be in iran or us or china sabka ek singular experience hai and we're all facing this together it's almost like aliens have attacked us and the world has to come together agar vaccine kal ko israel se aati hai to aisa nahi hoga ki hum pakistan bolenge nahi nahi yahudi hame nahi de ya agar india mein aa jati hai to hum border nahi banayenge because we're facing an existential threat so yeah. and we're all experiencing this together so ye शायद ह्यूमन हिस्ट्री में पहली दफा हुआ है कि इतने ज्यादा लोग बिलियन एंड बिलियन ऑफ पीपल आर एक्सपीरियंसिंग एवरीथिंग एट द सेम टाइम एंड होपफुली इट विल मेक अस अ लॉट मोर कॉन्शियस दैट सब इंसान है यार और सबका ख्याल रखना चाहिए और सबको एक इंसान की तरह देखना चाहिए नॉट उनकी जात क्या है या उनका नाम क्या है यस एंड जिस तरह आप छोटी खुशियों की बात कर रहे थे यू नो ग्रेटिट्यूड के अंदर ये और रियलाइजेशन के अंदर ये भी आता है दैट यस इट इज ह्यूज दैट द होल वर्ल्ड इज एक्सपीरियंसिंग दिस एट द सेम टाइम बट दर सो मे बी इट अलाउज अस टू सी द सिमिलैरिटीज इन ईच अदर के आई मीन क्ली शेयर एज एट साउंड सबकी सुबह होती है सबकी रात होती है सब खाना खाते हैं सब बात सुन जाते हैं यू नो ये छोटी चीज़ें हैं दैट मेक अस ऑल ह्यूमन बट दैन दर ऑल्सो लिल थिंग्स लाइक सबको डर लगा हुआ है सब अपने माँ बाप का सोच रहे हैं तो कोई बुरा कैसे हो सकता है अगर वो अपने माँ बाप का सोच रहा है कोई बुरा कैसे हो सकता है अगर वो अपने बच्चों का सोच रहा है तो मे बी वो जो हमने डिस्क्रिमिनेशन या प्रजिस अपने दिमाग में बिठाए हुए हैं मे बी नाउ इज अ टाइम वन वी कैन ब्रेक दोज एंड सी दैट एवरी वन इज जस्ट ह्यूमन एंड एवरी वन इज जस्ट वॉन्टिंग टू लिव वट एवर दैट मीन्स वट अ ब्यूटिफुल सेंटिमेंट वट अ ब्यूटिफुल थाट लाइक द किलर सेड आर वी ह्यूमन और आर वी डांसर I'm a dancer but most other people are humans so let's keep that humanity alive and remember in our toughest times that's the light we look at to get out of these dark times thank you so much Armin for joining us is there any final message you'd like thank to you. give to millions and millions of your fans who tune in every week hoping Sharmin is back <laughs> really That's cool. Uh hey guys. Uh no, um I would just say spend time with yourself and respect um try to keep a schedule. Light exercises are they help with your mental health, they help with anxiety and agar aapke ghar pe bacche hain more than anything kids need a routine. Nobody knows that is breakfast time, lunch time, dinner time. That is something a parent teaches them. So considering that there's no school anymore, sticking to some kind of routine at home really helps your sanity and if there is a balcony or a garden in your house or if there's a chance ki aap bahar thodi der ke liye jaakar ki agar like chhat pe khade ho jaye ya kuch sunshine is also a very good immunity booster eat fresh fruit and just be happy and try to get to know yourself better that's it you for done summer is gone thank you so much shirmin khan thank you so much for joining us uh, thank you everybody for listening Uh, take care everybody feel better stay happy stay safe bye bye